Welcome to another art journal video. My name is Simona and I am creating acrylic and mixed media paintings, art journals and bullet journal videos, so if you like this type of videos, I would love to have you as a subscriber. But now let's get into this page. Since I finished my last art journal, now I am creating on mixed media papers and I am planning to later, when I will have more pages finished, uh, to bind them together. Uh, and as you can see here, I started this page with pieces of tissue and pattern papers and after I glued those pieces to my page, I covered the whole page with gesso. Now I am mixing my PBO modeling paste with a little bit of baby powder to make it thicker. I rather work with a little bit thicker modeling or embossing paste because I don't want to wait such a long time till it's dry. And now I am randomly applying modeling paste with my spatula. I just want to create an interesting texture on my background. And as I mentioned before, after the modeling paste dry, I covered the whole page with the gesso uh, to prepare the surface for the colors. To color my page I am using gelatos. I haven't used them quite a while and I totally forgot how great medium they are. I'm just scribbling the colors on my page and I will blend them with a wet baby wipe and with my fingers. And if you are interested in what colors I am using, I will put all the colors in the description. And to add a little bit of darker shade, I am also using a Distress Ink Vintage Photo by Ranger with a sponge. When I was done with my first layer, I sealed the whole page with gel medium and then I applied another layer of gelatos. I found out that this is the best way how to make gelatos really saturated, at least it works best for me. Uh, here you can see that I decided to also add those circles to my background and I just cut them out uh, of an old book and after I glued them to my page I also colored them with the gelatos. And before I continue I sealed the whole page with gel medium. Now it's time for some stamping. For that I am using this sepia archival ink and because it's permanent I don't have to worry about smudging it later. I am using my favorite script stamp and also this big brick wall stamp and again I am stamping randomly here and there. With the same archival ink I also stamped those balloons and now I'm coloring them with gelatos. And after I compared them to my background, I decided to make them more saturated, so here I am adding another layer of gelatos.
Because when I cut out those balloons, I lost a basket and some details, I first stamped the balloons on my page with black archival ink and then I actually glued those uh, balloons cut out. And here I am adding a few black lines around the balloons to make them more visible on my page. And now I am using again modeling paste with this uh, beautiful butterfly stencil. And to color all my stencil parts, I decided to use gold paint. And with the same gold paint, I am just lightly brushing over all the interesting textured parts of my background. And I am also adding few gold splashes to my page. And the last step is to add a dark edge around my circles since I have felt that they are a little bit lost on my page. And that's it. All that's left to do is to remove the masking tape and this page is finished. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did I would really appreciate thumbs up and also let me know in the comments uh, if you like this new art journal page. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification ring bell so you wouldn't miss my new video. Thank you and see you next time, bye bye!